Hello, my name is Paul Matthews and welcome to a brief overview video of the new UI on MYOB Greentree. Firstly, an introduction. From the 2018.1.0 release of Greentree in March 2018, a new look and feel was introduced. Well, this is more commonly referred to as a new UI. The intention of the new UI was to bring a new, fresh and modern look to Greentree. This new UI, along with Windows Designer, gives Greentree more functionality around screen design and the look and feel of Greentree. So, let's have a look at this. The first change you will notice is the login screen itself. If I log in, what I'll do next is I'm just going to pick a screen at random. For no particular reason, I'll just go into the accounts payable supplier maintenance screen. Go into that screen, talk about a couple of things here. You notice now the colors. So these are now the standard MYOB colors. And we've also changed the green tree up in the top left here and on the screens. This will also be reflected in the icon that you, you then see on users desktops. Fonts. So these fonts are now consistent across all the screens. While this may not be obvious, all the screens have been viewed one by one and these fonts are now consistent. The read only. So the read only is still the same in the user preferences. So within these user preferences, you can maintain these colors as you had been able to previously. So what we've done with the tabs here, you'll notice that this, these are now bold, making them stand out or more visible when you come into the screen. I'm just going to call up a record here. You'll see that these right hand buttons now, or these shortcut buttons as they're sometimes referred to, also are bold. Just going to open another screen just to show those changes across Here's my CRM screen. For no particular reason, I just opened the organization screen and you'll see that being applied, those changes being applied there as well. I would just like to take this moment just to emphasize how this now works along with those changes with the Windows Designer. So the Windows Designer, there is a separate video for but I've just set one up here. So my default customer login screen, I'm just gonna jump into here. I've just made some kind of fairly generic changes to this, nothing too fancy at this stage. I'll call up a record, but I've made some fairly cosmetic changes. This uh, aging bucket that used to be presented here has just been hidden. I've hidden a few fields down here, which you may see from the blank spaces. This can be aligned if you want to. I've just colored these just to make them to stand out a bit. And one of the changes that was made with the Windows Designer is the ability to move the buttons here, the shortcut buttons, and hide them. You could never do that in the past with the Screen Customization Manager. And I've also colored them as well, just to put them into blocks, just to show that you can do that as well. One of the key things that came out in 2018 was the ability to move UDF fields around on screens. I haven't got any shown here, but what you see if, if I've actually moved these tabs around in different orders as well. Okay, there's one other thing I'd like to touch on before we close off. So, some points to note.
there is now only one skin. The number of skins that were in existence previously made it very time consuming to make changes to all the skins. Therefore, by bringing it back to one skin, it makes it much more efficient, and we can do it a lot more quickly if we need to make any changes going forward. The biggest challenge around this was to differentiate between live and test systems, or any other setup or demo or test system that somebody might have. Therefore, applying a skin or slash a color, there is now a setting in the jgt.ini file. So within the jade server section of the INI file, there is a new setting. As it says there on the screen, it's myob green tree skin, and the values are either normal or alternative. So the screenshots I just showed you previously, that's the normal screen setting or the normal skin. The default is normal, and you may need to add the setting into your INI file. But I'll just show you what this looks like. OK, so if I log in here, you'll notice the color change immediately on the header or the banner has changed. Just go into that same screen again. And you'll see the color has changed. That's the using the, the value of alternate in that INI file setting. This, of course, would go along with the standard of what you probably currently do in terms of changing the name of the company, etc., etc. I hope you found this brief overview on the new UI helpful, and please feel free to get in touch with me if you've got any further questions. Thanks for your time.